And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Steal one of Gith's own. I will... In the start of Act 2, you'll meet a elderly woman that's looking for a Gith's egg, and you can easily persuade her to accept a owlbear egg instead, which you can just end up stealing back from her, and she does have some pretty nice, unique armor as well that she won't sell to you if you've already given her the egg. I'll also show you where to get the Gith's egg later on as well if you do want to take that route, as that does lead to some other consequences in the game. In order to find the Albert egg, you first want to head a little bit west of Emerald Grove, and you'll encounter a scene where someone got killed by the Albert, and you can convince them to join you to seek revenge, as they'll just provide some meat shields. It'll then give you the option to extract a parasite from the person that just passed, and you should take advantage of collecting these as it leads to further powers later on in the game. Just put that right in the undies. <laughs> Got some sausages on them, meat, salami. They just came back from the pool. <laughs> Once you take out the owlbear, you'll experience a depressing scene where an owlbear cub comes up, and then it'll just be disturbing after that. <laughs> you have two options to either put it out of its misery or to let it live. If you let it live, it just starts to consume its own mother. <laughs> and apparently it joins you in your camp later on as well. There's a secret magical chest here and in order to unlock it, you have to jump to the other side of the ledge and there is a parchment paper there with some recitements on it. And you would have to read it with someone other than Shadowheart, as this is linked to part of her storyline. The person that reads it would also have to have some points in their religion stats. Once you read it, it unlocks the chest, and Shadowheart tells you that you shouldn't even take it. So you'll encounter the lady that wants the Gith Egg when you travel to Mountains Pass. As there's two ways to interact to, and the other way is through the Underdark. Upon entering the next zone, you just want to head a little bit northeast and you'll meet the lady that wants the Gith's Egg. So from what I read, if you end up giving her the Gith's Egg, later on there'll be a scene in Baldur's Gate where the Gith child ends up murdering a bunch of people within a room. I don't know if that would happen with the Albert Egg. I should have just let her keep it instead of stealing it back, but I decided to steal it back when I was stealing some armor and some other stuff as once you give her the egg she doesn't give you the option to trade with her anymore and she does have some really nice armor in there. It's got some pretty nice stats of increasing your jump range, giving you some extra dexterity and plus one to dexterity saving throws, as well as being one of the nicer looking armors I've found so far. You are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. Oh, you wonder... Hold on. It looks different to what I expected. Are you sure that's a Gith egg? What the society doesn't know won't hurt it, and we're left handsomely legacied either way. I rather like this plan. You have yourself an accord. Here's your payment. I'd hope it's enough to warrant your discretion, too. If you want to steal the Gith Egg, you don't actually even have to steal it, as you can convince them to just give it to you willingly. The way to get in is a little bit of a maze, as there's several entry points that just kind of like lead to other rooms that will lead to monsters. You do have to go through one of the windows in order to open up this main door here, though. You just want to head straight and then take these stairs right here. I believe the hatchery was on the right hand side, but this room isn't too big in here. You do want to make sure to snatch up the egg before 
talking to the main guy here because that will eventually lead to a fight. This imposing portrait depicts a powerful Githyanki warrior, undeniably regal in her mien. You take a moment to fully appreciate your masterpiece. She certainly looks a little less regal now. A wretched display. I thought you better than such juvenile antics. No, no, no. Oh, the Inquisitor will have our necks for this! Or, if you don't care, just kill everyone and then just take the egg. <laughs> I ended up killing them because I came back and they were all aggroed at that point. But if you get him to give you the egg willingly, then he'll give you a pretty nice pair of boots that makes you immune to acid damage. Kind of curious to see what will happen with this now. I wonder if you can just hatch it in your camp. <laughs> take it easy and I'll catch you on the next one. I created this entire hatchery, despite being the last of my clutch to hatch. They almost drowned me in the hatching pool. If it wasn't for the Vash of my clutch. This one deserves the same chance. Tell me, what will you do with it if I entrust it to you? That's what I feared. Still, I'm sure its nature will pervade, even if raised among lesser species. Large green egg with an uneven shell. You can see a vague outline of something within it. The egg is warm to the touch, the rough shell like slate beneath your fingers. Whatever is within is stirring ever so slightly. There's no talking your way out of this. <laughs> 